Uh, welcome to yet another episode of Mamli Sundowns TV. Um, Sugar, we've got a guest today. Um, Wayne Arense, one of the legends that play for Mamli Sundowns. Thank you, sir, for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen you. What are you up to? Yeah, I'm still around. Still busy dropping the kids in the morning. That's the schedule now. Oh, picking up the, the kids. Yeah, being the father. <laughs> Those things that we weren't doing when we were playing, always traveling, but yeah, enjoying it, enjoying life, and yeah, and keeping well. Ah, fantastic. So speaking of kids, we saw kids at the Loftus Stadium at the Champions League against Le Passa. What do you think of those? Very nice initiative. Yeah. I really like to see the younger ones uh, coming to enjoy the, the greatness that Mamelodi Sundowns is portraying uh, week in, week out. So it's, 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 been, it's been a great uh, time to actually see the younger ones uh, uh, coming to the game supporting, preparing the future generation of, mm. of, of Mamli Sundowns and having them there, it was really wonderful. I saw a lot of uh, hands, uh, beautiful yellow hands mm. uh, amongst the stands. And yeah. uh, it was really fun. You know, having kids, you need to make sure that you have something to entertain them with. Yeah. I saw we had a lot of jumping castles. Mm. We had a lot of fun places whereby the kids could entertain themselves mm. prior to the game to get them hyped up so that when it's time to sing and dance, they are already excited. But then what do you think of that one and after the game where they had to now come into the pitch, mingle with the players, and I also saw them starting dancing as well with the players to the fans. Mm, great, great experience as well. Yeah. You know, uh, you've got uh, uh, the, the, their role models that they've been given an opportunity to come and interact th with them directly. Mm -hmm. And ha seeing how they were so excited to meet uh, Gaston Sirino, Allende, yeah. I, I, I couldn't even find those two because they're so short. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the same height <laughs> as those kids. But it was really wonderful to see them uh, being being welcomed by the players and yeah. the players really also enjoyed the moment. It's, 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 it's never been done. Yeah. And I didn't expect such a large number of kids to be at the stadium, but seeing them in the field, interacting with the players, showing the, the love they have for the team was really something special. Are we special. seeing them again on Friday? I believe so. It's going to be happening once again. We're going to be having a wonderful time with the kids because we are trying to build a, 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 a synergy in what happens every game and be able to, to, to allow the kids to enjoy time at the stadium. And I, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what will happen as well this weekend. Fantastic. So now we get into the Champions League game. Uh, Wayne, you were part of us when we we went through this journey of the Champions League. And um, before we get into the Passa game, if you remember the travelings that we had to do, because at that time I think it was new for everyone. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how we were going to travel the logistics, we didn't know that. So for me, I just want to ask you, what was your most difficult place that we actually as a team traveled to and why? Yeah, obviously um, there has been lo lots of travels that we've done. Um, we went flights six hour eight hour flights and then you have bus drives as three hours yeah. um it's always difficult playing in africa um you know um there's lots of places that we went to has been difficult yeah. you know you can't really pinpoint them down Dolisi. um yeah obviously <laughs> it, it, th those are one of them because uh, the trip was just a nightmare it was five hours that bus drive yeah. you know flight was also that long but yeah, um, those are all the experiences that, that you cherish um, because at the end of the day, um, we managed to pick up the cup yeah. when, with all that traveling. So it just shows um, when you put in hard work, traveling the hours, it, it doesn't go wasted. It's not for granted. And to pick up the trophy at the end of the day, it's, it's just rewarding. Um, and I just think um, seeing that you guys are still in the Champions League, um, Whatever ups and downs you get, you, you might just take it with the punches yeah. because at the end of the day, you know what you're fighting for yeah. and you, the objective that you have and the goal that you're pressing for towards. Yeah, because I also remember when we, we were in Congo trying to cross to Brazzaville or I think we were in Brazzaville trying to cross to Congo mm -hmm. and then there were elections in between. So we had to play a game, no shower, mm -hmm. go through with the bus <laughs> so that we can go through the border. And uh, some of the guys... Use the the felt as a toilet. You you are one of those guys. You, <laughs> know, you have to, <laughs> like I said, you have to make use of all those things because, we, like you said, there was elections and you know. Yeah, we had to we, we had, had to cross. pass the yeah. border and it, it was it was just a nightmare because you never know what happens in these countries yeah. because you get pulled over by anyone you know, yeah. and yeah, these guys had to stop on the side and use the toilet and yeah, yeah so. 
it was tough, but like I said, it was rewarding at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I also remember that uh, after that we got to be isolated, I think, for three days because of the elections. Mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't travel after that. But I think, you know, those moments actually made the team to become more united, more stronger, because all the experiences were new to everyone, irrespective of whether people played in the national team or not. And uh, you're looking at the type of squad that we have now, we've got a lot of youngsters, uh, we've got a lot of players that haven't been exposed to those type of travels or to uh, type of maybe hardships in, in the Champions League. Now you have um, a game like um, uh, La Passa coming into the country, playing them, you know, because we're using our own, own pitch home in a way. What, do, what, would you, what would you say to the younger ones, like your Lucetti Kapingas that haven't been exposed to maybe bigger, bigger challenges in, in the Champions League, uh, Mbule that has just come in into the team? You know, what, what, what would you say to those boys? Yeah, obviously, um, like, I, like you mentioned now, the younger players coming in haven't experienced those things yet. Um, obviously, you have your, your experienced guys in the changing room, yeah. the likes of Dennis Kennedy, who's still around there in the, mm. in the team. Um, those guys, they need to learn from those. Yeah. And obviously, because they, they will expect difficult trips. It's not always as easy when you fly mm -hmm. directly to Morocco, Egypt, you know. Um, in this case, you're playing both games at, at home. Um, challenges will come. Yeah. And it's, it's how you deal with it. And, you know, for these youngsters, I can just say, listen here, this is Africa, this is Champions League football. Whatever challenge gets thrown at you, you, you got to take it. Yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, you know what you're going there for and the objective that you want mm -hmm. and the goal that the team wants to achieve. So if, if, he, if he feels uncomfortable as a, as a youngster, there's always your senior place that you can talk to, you know, to, to find out what do I do in this situation, yeah, this and yeah. that. So it takes a lot of communication and a lot of for the senior players to step up and say, guys, we're going here, the traveling is not that good. We're taking a five hour bus drive, prepare yourself, get snacks, because when you get there, the food will be not as the quality that you get into Africa. So yeah. prepare yourself properly pack in whatever food that you want, you know, mm -hmm. those sort of things and make sure you tell your wife because you, you get there, probably the Wi-Fi is not that, that good, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of small factors that, yeah. that, that comes into play, but they have those experienced guys in the changing room who can advise them. And yeah. Good, man. And, and Sugar, you, you were there in the game. You and I were there actually chilling together. We watched the game. Um, we saw the lineup. Um, we were expecting Vela to see a different lineup from Mamedi Sundowns. Mm -hmm. um, what's your take on that? You know, the, the, the lineup was uh, uh, really, like you say, we had expected to see uh, certain individuals also coming back into the team, mm. getting some game time. I was really happy to also see Dennis back in goals. Mm -hmm. uh, you could see that uh, when it comes to Champions League, he's got uh, those leadership qualities that mm. are truly required. And uh, it was really good to see uh, Sipombuli scoring his first goal for the club. A yeah. uh, beautiful take and goal. And uh, seeing the likes of uh, Musa Libusa also getting uh, uh, time to, to, to get uh, a run on the field was really great. So having, having more, more, more players uh, getting more game time, it gives, it gives you that uh, broad aspect of, uh, of having a bigger pool for the games that are coming because you can see there are a lot of games that are coming up mm -hmm. and then you need to have all the players that are, are, are within the squad to be mentally ready, to be physically ready and emotionally as well. So because it's never easy just to sit and not play. And I was really happy that uh, people uh, got that opportunity. I was really happy to see Gaston scoring. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been, it's been it's, it, you know, he's influential and yeah, having yeah. him scoring goals is really required, especially in, in, in this kind of competitions. Yeah. So it's really wonderful to see the leadership of the likes of Temba Zwani doing so well, consistent for such a long time. And mm -hmm. he's got like Wayne was saying that uh, the, the most experienced players are the ones that need to rise up yeah. and be able to guide the, the, the ones that are coming in yeah. because the quality is there. Uh, we just need to work a bit with the mindset yeah. and have the, the confidence of the team all in one direction. Because now, you, you, you listen to the fans, especially last season after we got knocked out of the Champions League. Mm. You, you listen to the, the chairman himself um, uh, off-season about the drive of the Champions League, um, how he wants the team to win the Champions League. You listen to the coaches when they speak about the Champions League, you listen to the players about the Champions League. The Champions League, it's, it, it becomes a culture in the team. So now what do you take on the first game that we played here at home, 
you're looking at the fans, how happy they were. Mm -hmm. Of course, the scoreline is something else on the also, but but it's just the, the way Sundowns approached that game. I liked I liked the fact that they didn't take it for granted. Yeah. They they tried as much as they could to score many goals. Uh, they scored seven. Uh, I still believe they could have scored uh, a bit more. Mm. Uh, but uh, it it gives you that sense of of feeling that. Uh, they understand the, the responsibility that lies upon their shoulders as mm. players, mm. as coaches, as technical staff, that uh, uh, Mamluk Sundowns now, the, they have that drive to say we want to win the Champions League again. And uh, like uh, having those senior players being there, uh, showing the way that throughout whatever we may encounter, some games may be uh, n may not be as difficult as, th as others. Mm. Like we had a game where we won 7-0. It doesn't mean that all the games will be like that. Yeah. So that's where you need the senior players to now rise up and be able to keep on pushing. Uh, try as much as you can because uh, as we were having a, a, a off the of the of the record talk with Wayne, we were saying these are the kind of games we always wanted to make sure that we score more mm -hmm. because out of games like this you can have your top goal scorer, mm -hmm. and that's where the confidence comes in where you are recognised continentally. So mm -hmm. I really believe that. Uh, Going forward, the, the boys will get the, a motivation throughout this game to look forward to, to, to the whole con competition. Fantastic. Because for me, I think um, I, I got the utmost respect from the team, especially how they played knowingly that there's not going to be much resistance from the mm -hmm. opponents. Mm -hmm. But the way they approached the game, the mentality of playing seriously, you know, against the opponent that you know you're not going to get uh, much of resistance and be able also to punish, to True. play professional. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's very difficult to, to get motivated by an opponent that is not actually pushing you to, to do better. And for me, uh, to see players in that mindset, I think for me, it's, it's, it's a start of great things to come. Because when things are difficult already by that time, you know, the confidence is very high. The understanding mm. of the space that you're in, which is very, very important because mm. I always come back to uh, our era, we, we went there without understanding the space we're what? in. Mm. We grew as the tournament progressed and uh, we found things very difficult, but luckily we had, we always had senior players around mm -hmm. uh, with, with different experiences. I mean, you have Kennedy Mueni that won um, AFCON, Afcon mm -hmm. with Zambia. And you also in the World Cup. Uh, okay, yeah, mm. that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like I'm just touching base when, when saying on the squad rotation that they had. Yeah. And it also give that players a sense of I'm 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 contributing, you know. Yep. When mm -hmm. you're changing the team and it gives the coach also that mindset like, okay, he's ready to play the next game, you know. Yep. So like you said, they scored seven goals and showed the proper attitude. Yeah. And at the same time you're sending a message. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. when you play your, your top team, your allies, what whoever they are, and they come to Loftus, you must know that this is a slaughterhouse, you know. Yeah, yeah. We, sc we we scored seven. Next week we're scoring five. We scored four the last week, and you know those sort of things. So those are the things that the, the other clubs are also looking into, yeah. because they can they look, do their video analysis and say, guys, we need to be aware of Sunnas because they got, they scored fourteen goals in the last two games. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, it's a proper attitude that going into any game, and I think big ups to the boys who, who played, um, scored seven goals, and I'm sure we're likely to see much more over the weekend. So what do you expect in Shugeta? Because now we have got a, uh, the same opponent on Friday. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is going through the player's mind, knowing that you're facing the same opposition that you beat seven not not so long ago? Mm -hmm. Now you're having them, you're hosting them again on Friday. What can the fans expect? What can we expect as 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 Mamluk Sundowns people towards our players? You know, uh, it, it's it's normally not an easy game to go into because uh, I believe that as as the players will need to be really really professional in in approaching this game uh, after winning 7-0 uh, convincingly uh, there, there may be a sense of of, of complacency that mm. may creep in feeling that no if we've already won 7-0 uh, in the first game uh, it, it and that was an away game on yeah. top of that remember yeah. so it may it may cause people to relax but uh, like uh, we were just saying now that uh, the, the attitude was what we what really stood out that they kept on going trying to score as many goals as they can and i'm foreseeing more goals coming mm. and i'm really excited because i always like it when when the yellow nation celebrate the goals and having an opportunity to see our team scoring so many goals the players gaining confidence uh, is it's going to be something wonderful and i don't see uh, uh, anything stopping Manuel Sundowns from advancing at this point in time. I guess maybe for now it's going to be a headache for the coach as to who he plays next. 
Very true, uh, because That's the ones that were given a chance, they, they proved that they they're proved. ready to play. I liked yeah. uh, Mkulisi scored. Yeah. Uh, the young Tesha also came and he gave an assist. Yeah. He played very well. Yeah. So the people are raising up their hands. It doesn't matter how 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 how, how the game panned out or what uh, the, the opponents were were able to do or not. But everybody should really always try their utmost best yeah. to make the most of the chance. Whether it's ten minutes, fifteen minutes, make the most because next game you you will definitely be required to assess the club. Thank you very much, sir. Um, to Mamluli Sundance fans, the game is on Friday. That's at 5.30 at Loftus Stadium. Um, we're also going to have a kiddies corner. Bring your kids. Let them enjoy the game. Let them get the experience of meeting and mingling with the players because we want to start them as young as possible to groom them to become Mamluli Sundance fans. And uh, thank everybody that subscribed to the show. We, look, we see your comments. I've got a comment, actually. Let me read that comment. From mm. who, who, is it your brother? I think it's your brother. From another mother. Everybody supporting Imam Luri Sundowns is my brother. Yeah. He says, uh, thank you for a really insightful conversation, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And the team started its CAF Champions League campaign on the right note. Mm -hmm. And let's see how they will go on from here. And uh, those are the nice positive messages that you want to hear. And um, look, man, just subscribe and uh, tell us how you feel about the team. And uh, yeah, we see every comment. And thank you very much for tuning in.